Stuff, what channel is this? Welcome back everybody. I'm sitting right now, right here with my good buddy Kyle. And we're sitting here actually because we plan to do a documentary about the Malabig, which is a beautiful hiking trail in the Saxon Switzerland where I was kind of raised. And uh, yeah, some things happened, but first of all, Kyle, why did we want to make the documentary in the first place? Yeah, so I've been living here in Germany now for almost three years. Uh, and one of the first things I did when I moved here uh, was to explore the local national park, which is the Saxon Switzerland National Park. And following that, it kind of mixed with my passion and enjoyment for science communication, natural history documentaries, and writing. And it became the perfect topic for me to write a documentary on. And I thought it would be awesome as kind of like my first project as a gateway into documentaries and filmmaking. And uh, a little while back, uh, I met Maxia. Uh, and he is a videographer, filmmaker, he's got the equipment and the knowledge which I was lacking and two pieces of the puzzle kind of fit together and it was really nice so we kind of embarked on this mission to make the documentary a reality but it isn't always so easy. So first hurdle was of course you have to get a documentary kind of financed, right? We are putting a lot of effort into that and of course we want to have it in the best outcome possible which means that we would also need more gear for that. And if you want to make a documentary really beautiful of course drone shots are a necessity. So first hurdle was to actually for me get an FPV drone and learn flying. That checked, I wrote an email to all the official places giving you the allowance to fly because in the Saxon Switzerland, as it's like a preserved area, you're not allowed to fly there. But we texted them and actually we had a good reason. This would be a very educational documentary uh, that combines both English and German and is giving an insight of the beautiful areas here. We think the Malerweg offers a really cool cultural insight into uh, German culture and particularly in this area of east of Germany. It's got relationships to art, ecology, uh, history, geology. It's really kind of crammed full of really interesting topics that we could explore and hopefully educate people about. So we surely thought that it wouldn't be big of an issue to get like the permission to fly there saying that we didn't get it. And to some extent, I think we can empathize with that as well. Uh, obviously being a place of conservation, um, having some wildlife there, which is particularly delicate. I think we can begin to understand that a loud drone might scare some of the bird wildlife and other wildlife in the area. So it's a very frustrating situation we find ourselves in because we can both understand it, but clearly it would have still benefited us to be able to have that permission. The thing is, first of all, we really mapped out how we want the documentary to look. And as soon as the as we got the message that it's not gonna happen like that, not happening, bro. We were really bummed out, and we, uh, I think we settled down on a product that now, if we would make it without any drone shots, um, we would have an unpolished version and would not be satisfied with it. So what we settled on now is to basically film the documentary anyway. And the best part of this plan is, no one can stop me. Make it a bit more fun and just Only make it for you guys, for everyone on YouTube, because we don't want to go to some places that financiate us and our project and then it's like a half-baked end product, you know. So we're still gonna do the whole trail, give you guys like all the impressions that we can get just sadly without a drone, I mean, maybe we can find some spots where it's allowed to fly, but it won't be many. I think it's still interesting though to show how we would approach a documentary. If I remember correctly, this is a 12.5 meter tall bronze statue. As like kind of the first try for either you or me. Yeah, definitely. Our gateway into the industry. Where our journey to become future documentarists 
and of course as Max was saying as well, like while we have maybe opportunities to be financed through certain institutes like the National Park, uh, the local cities or something like that, it's kind of like an outreach project or something to engage uh, people to come into the areas. The compromise you make when you take the finances, of course you have limitations on your creative freedom. And so I think now we've kind of done a 180 um, and we've realized that the thing that we craved from the very beginning was our own creative freedom, the ability to put forward something that we wanted in the way that we wanted uh, without being told how to do it. I think perhaps that's a little insight into documentaries as well. You always imagine it just being stood behind the camera or in front of the camera in the park or in the location that you like. But there's a lot of bureaucracy, there's a lot of admin, there's a lot of writing, script preparations, shot lists and stuff like this. I mean, Kyle already wrote most of the script for the Malaweg and we really don't want to waste it. It's beautiful and we want people to see it and if we can make it in a fun way, seeing the both of us interact and Definitely. being yep. the dumbasses we are sometimes. <laughs> a table tennis paddle that is glued to the table. No, that is sticky. <laughs> <laughs> um, will be even more entertaining. And I mean, anyway, the most, the, the, the core argument uh, why we wanted to do this documentary was to show people our surroundings. So we still gonna make that, you are gonna see everything. We try to make it as professional as possible still. Uh, I think that you will see more on Kyle's channel. On my channel you will see how to documentary. Like um, stuff that I learned because beforehand I was mainly shooting image films, commercials, some corporate videos most of the time. Um, so now for, for this project, this is going to be really exciting for me as this is how I want to end up one day and I think for Kyle it's more or less the same. Yeah. And uh, yeah. As Max already said, we want to deliver a documentary that still has a certain level of quality to it. I mean, that's what's important to us. Um, but in amongst that, we want to pepper in the human side of it as well. Yes. What it means to make a documentary, the effort that goes into it, but also on a more fun level, for those of you not necessarily interested in filmmaking or documentary production, you instead get to see the human side, the interactions along the way. Okay, we may have messed up earlier when we said we messed up. Stop. <laughs> Why do you look drunk as fuck? Do I? <laughs> Even if people aren't that interested, I think what it does is it bridges a little bit of a gap between perhaps natural history and travel documentaries. You know, you can see the travel aspects as you come along with us, um, as we kind of share a beer after a long hike or something. Or two, perhaps. Or two. <laughs> <laughs> and then you also get the professional mm -hmm. polished video that we hope we can, that we are sure we can deliver for you. See you next time. <laughs> Out. Basically, that's all our update about a project that you didn't know about. And I hope we got you kind of excited for it. Um, I'm sure we'll have a lot of fun uh, shooting the documentary and I hope you guys stay tuned. I leave a link to Kyle's channel down below, so check that out. Subscribe as well also on my channel if you want, uh, just saying. Um, and yeah, uh, be excited for the final result.